Good morning. Today I want to um, invite you to come along to our Bible study. It's on a Wednesday night and I'm having it here at the house, just at my house. If you need to know where that is, you can ask me. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about the prayer of petition. This is a very important um, principle of God's kingdom that few I believe understand and few put into practice I have put it into practice and it works the principles of God King God's kingdom always works if there's a long-standing um, issue that's not doesn't seem to be getting better it seems to be getting worse then it's time to come to God and to make this legal petition by his word according to his word and then things change Amen. In Ephesians 6 and verse 18, it says, With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the Spirit, and with this in view, be on the alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints. It's so important that we see it throughout the Bible. We see Samuel, Daniel, Jeremiah, David, uh, Esther, Joshua, Moses, Caleb, Jehoshaphat, all of the kings, not maybe all of them, but most of them, Ezra, Nehemiah, they all knew this um, principle of the prayer of petition. Remember, prayer is not just talking to God like many believe, but it's communicating with God. That means we're talking to him and he is talking to us. There's a big difference, isn't there? And to hear from the Lord changes everything because his word gives us strength, not just on the short term, but on the long term. He is interested in the bigger picture. And that t means that we've got to go beyond what we can see, beyond our own understanding and beyond our own enthusiasm and into his. Amen. So tonight, that's what I'm going to be talking about. Next week, I'm going to start a new series on the book of Hebrews. It's so important to understand this new covenant that we belong to. And I find many people, they're, they're wavering between the old covenant and the new covenant because they don't fully understand and they're getting the two mixed up and that can get us into a bit of confusion and condemnation. But when we understand the new covenant and what we have been brought into, it is amazing and it's a wonderful study through Hebrews because it is showing us the fulfillment of uh, the new covenant in which we are made right with God so I invite you along to that and if you can't make it I understand there are many different reasons maybe you're too far away or whatever but if possible I would welcome you to come along and to join us as we study together um, if you can't then let me know if you'd be interested and I will do short videos to share with you so that you don't miss out. Amen.